Okay, so now here we have a nominal nominal uh, voltage of uh, one point four millil millivolts. millivolts. But uh, earlier today I could get as low as uh, point eight. Uh, but now it's night. It's a few hours later, and the ambient temperatures have changed a bit. A bit. Uh, there's still no heat in this room, and uh, but it has gotten colder outside, and the temperature differential kind of shows in the uh, readings that I'm getting right now. But anyway, I've done some modifications here, so I'm going to. Uh, Okay, this I showed in the original video, and the things I've changed is I've kind of uh, made a little ducting system here. And the heat element is at zero. Earlier today I tried this, and uh, the uh, voltage that I got was somewhere between uh, 75 and 110 uh, millivolts. Uh, but now I... Uh, I'm going to try and stabilize a bit. What I've done, because it, it because there was a big fluctuation between the 75 and 110 with the um, culture elements out in the open, what I've done is I've created kind of like a rigged uh, ducting system here. So what I plan is to do is for the uh, cold air from the window here, when I open the window to come underneath this glass here and flow down and onto the peltiers. And I found that the the cold side works better. It, it, it's more efficient. It's just more effective when it's just open and there's no um, heat sink or anything or cooling module on it. Maybe later on I'll try it with some uh, water cooling. But right now, so I took the uh, heat sink off and I flipped it and put it on the warm side. And I'm using that, if you can see that here, you can see that here are the uh, Heat sink is on the other side now, and what it uh, is sitting on the on the radiator here, and this should warm up this side. Uh, right now, the radiator is not on, so it's uh, it's uh, at zero. But there is still this uh, kind of uh, warm temperature that is always remain before uh, uh, that the radiator is always a little bit warm because just before the uh, thermostat the pipes are are hot and they are radiating heat through the pipes themselves into the uh, radiator so we have that and and still here at uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to uh, open up the window here and see what happens don't have to open it much I don't think because you just want it just want it far enough to close this gap to let the cool night air Come in underneath the gap, and there's a slight breeze going. So, oh, and we were at 1.4, and now with the window open, it's just starting to boogie. <laughs> Okay, I'm already up to 20 millivolts, which is what I need to do some uh, real harvesting. So now we're much over the 20 millivolts needed, the nominal needed for the uh, thermoelectric harvester to uh, function correctly. So we're way over that voltage now. Uh, we're going to see how far I can get this up, and then well, what I'm going to do is do another video with uh, the same setup, but I'm going to turn on the uh, heating element, and then yeah, I'm going to pause this and save time and see how far it goes. Okay, now it seems to be... Um, Kind of topping out at uh, 137, 138. <laughs> this is incredible. And I still haven't turned on the heating element yet. And uh, 
earlier today, one of the, the things that happened was, of course, when I have a window open like this and the, I got cold. So I had to stop the test. Uh, it wasn't really cold. I mean, I, I'm used to Swedish temperatures. It was uh, 7 plus centigrade, but it was uh, feeling closer to uh, zero because of the wind. And I guess the wind has died down a little bit this evening. But the uh, temperature still dropped. I have to check the weather report. I, I think the coolest temperature for this evening is about 4 degrees or something like that. But right now, the cool air is uh, coming through this little small duct and um, going against the, and the peltiers in between uh, the room that I'm sitting in, which is uh, somewhere around, I don't know, 19, 20 degrees. I don't keep it very warm in here. So the temperature differential is uh, about uh, 15 degrees. And at 15 degrees, getting uh, about 140, 130 um, millivolts. That's pretty good. Uh, I suspect that uh, because this glass is a uh, cooler and this is still so very open, if you look inside this, is, this whole thing is still very open that if I open the window and, and allow in a little bit more wind pressure, then it will cool the modules even even more and increase the voltage a bit. But it's not, as a matter of fact, it's not happening. What's happening is that the voltage is actually falling. Try closing that again and see what happens. Okay, so uh, looks. Uh, Looks like it's um, bottoming out. Uh, I'll pause this again and then uh, see how far it down goes. But topping out at 140, and uh, I got, yeah, it'll probably be the same as before, where the top dot topped out at 140, and then it'll go down to 90 or 75, which is still not bad. Uh, well, for just opening a window. Yeah, oh, I forgot to say. Uh, yeah, uh, I have uh, eight of these uh, 12706 um, cooling uh, modules uh, wired together in series, and that's what's pr producing the voltage. Take one last look at that, and then I'll sign off for today and then get back to experimenting with something else.